such a nice preparation to listen and to continue the kirtan. There's the there's kirtan the with the singing, and there's the kirtan by glorifying. When we read, like we are reading every day now, this is also kirtan, it's a glorification. It's the singing with the lines of our dear most Guru Manjaris, our teachers, our guides in our life. So welcome today for the Adarasuda Nidhi. Actually, I was meditating this morning. These are the, the verses of Prabhupada Nanda Saraswati Thakur and um, our dear Ananda Das Babaji Maharaj. He is singing his song. He is singing his song in the form of his commentaries. This is his song of praise, of the feelings of Prabhupada Nanda Saraswati in his Kinkari Svarup as a maidservant of Srimati Radhika. And when Gurudev is explaining to us so kindly for many years now, his song to the song of Ananda Das Babaji Maharaj, these are all songs of the heart. So now we are reading the song of Shri Ananta Das Bhavaji Maharaj and Gurudev will also sing his song and some of the devotees who are inspired will also sing their songs to their songs. So we are all singing together in this way, in a very beautiful and deep feeling. When will Mohan, Krishna, Seeing my sincere, unshaken devotion for Shirada's lotus feet, embrace me and kiss me with more love even than he shows for his own devotees. Offer me his chewed betel nuts from his mouth into mine and hang his garland of forest flowers around my neck. Yeah. And the subject of this verse is unshaken devotion for Shirad has low to speed. Sripad, somebody has the, the voice uh, phone on. Can you please close this? Sripad has a spiritual vision of himself sitting in a sweet Nikunja barn in a forest and his Kinkari Swarup stringing a flower garland in a kunja kutira. When Krishna comes there, he thinks to himself, ah, how sweet is the mood of these maidservants. They don't know anything else but their service or her service. They don't care about my bodily company, which is coveted or desired by all the women of this world. They don't care about this at all because they are exclusively dedicated to Radhika's lotus feet. Being charmed like this, Mohan comes before the Mandari and says, Saki, how lonely this place is. I am greatly afflicted by lusty desires. Come and enjoy with me 
in this kunj and make your life a success. Hearing Shyama's words or Shyam's words, the maidservant replies, Oh, Nagaraj, Nagararaj, king of lovers. Surely your bodily association is desired by all the women of the world. But we maidservants get much more ananda from seeing your pastimes with Sri Radhika and from serving you after and during these pastimes, then from personally associating with you. Therefore, I pray that you will always keep me immersed in the nectar ocean of your service, and you will always allow me to witness the sweetness of your togetherness with our Swamini. <laughs> Nagara replies, Saki, you will surely have those desires fulfilled in time, but even those who enjoy a greater pleasure are interested in different other kinds of enjoyments also. This is a lonely place. Nobody will find out. I am also very much suffering out of separation from Swamini, from Shirada. But you, as her maidservant, are none different from her. Therefore, make me happy with your bodily company. The kinkari replies, Nagararaj, I offered this body of mine to Sri Radha's lotus feet. I can give you my life that if that makes you happy, but I cannot give you my body. Come along, I will soothe your pain of separation by helping to meet Shirada. The maidservant then takes Shyama Sundara with her to Shirada's kunj. Shyama Sundara Mohan is so pleased with the sincere an unshaken devotion of Radharani's maidservants, that he loves them even more than his own devotees. Therefore, Sripad says Prita Swam Bajato P in this text. When the maidservant makes Radha and Mohan meet, Mohan tells Radhika, Oh Radhe, I had lost the way when I was coming to meet you because I was overwhelmed by feelings of separation from you. But this maidservant helped me to find your kunj. What a wonderful service she rendered to us. I would like to give her some reward. Any reward you think is fitting. Tell me, what should I give to her? Shemati is also most pleased with her maidservant. And just to show her girlfriends the greatness of her maidservants, she says, Mohan, all the beautiful girls of Braj desire you. Today, I want you to personally reward this maidservant 
by kissing her and embracing her. Hearing this, Nagara begins to kiss and embrace the maidservant with great love. Although Krishna is self-satisfied, he reciprocates with the love of his devotees. And for this reason, he enjoys all kinds of pastimes with them. The gopi's love for him is the greatest. And therefore, he also plays the most intimate pastimes with them in particular. The Manjari's loving devotion is also described here as being nishkaitava, without any cheating propensity, and pure as molten gold. When Mohan begins to embrace the maidservant, she protests by saying, no, no, and runs away. How happy the Yugala Kishore are to see her pure mood. Shimati tells Shamasundara, Put some of your chewed bitty leaves into her mouth. And when Shyam wants to do this by force, the maidservant closes her mouth and runs away. She will not accept anything else but Radha's prashad. That is her nishta, her vow. Next, Swamini tells Shyam to take off his garland of forest flowers and to hang it around the maidservant's neck. But when he tries to do that, the maidservant puts her hands on her head in order to stop him from hanging the garland around her neck. She will only accept Swamini's prashadi garlands and not those of Krishna alone. In this way, the Yugala Kishore completes their examination of the pure attitude of the Kinkari. The fortunate maidservant has passed the test. <laughs> you like it, Gurudev? <laughs> you are muted, Gurudev. Radhe, Radhe, I'm sorry to interrupt. Uh, please can give the open to me the translation to Spanish because Priya left because of bad connection. Excuse me. What a nice test, huh, Gurdeep? Yes, so nice. Amang Madhuri also doing us before sending to Radha. When wow. you read the first time, I, I was a little doubtful from where it is not clear to me. My God, I was shocked. <laughs> I know, Gurudev. <laughs> Which one, Gurudev? No, in this uh, starting, you know, read My slok, what do you say? Slok? Or... Oh, the slok, yeah. The slok was, yeah. When I read the slok, I also thought, ah, ah, what is this? But then the commentary, the song, it was really so beautiful. When yeah. will Mohan, Krishna. I can read. When will Mohan, Krishna, 
-hmm. seeing my sincere, unshaken devotion for Shirada's lotus feet, embrace me and kiss me with even more love than he shows for his own devotees. Offer me chewed beetle nuts from his mouth into mine and hang his garland of forest flowers around my neck. First time yeah. I listened. <laughs> I was shocked from where Suriti break this. Yeah, I could but see it in your face. <laughs> I'm serious. But how they test us. Such a big test, Gurdi. <laughs> <laughs> Read again. Be careful with this point. Yeah. Read again. And he has, the he, subject uh, has to understand. Yeah, the, you mean the commentary, Gurdi? No. The verse. Purpose, purpose. Oh, purpose. Okay. Verse, verse. Was was what you first uh, Krishna oh, kiss oh, okay. <laughs> God. Sripad has a spiritual vision of himself sitting in a sweet Nikunjavan in his Kinkari Swarup and stringing a flower garland in a Kunja Kuti. When Krishna comes there. He thinks to himself, Aha, how sweet is the mood of these maidservants. They don't know anything else but their service. They don't care about my bodily company, which is desired by all the women of the world at all because they are exclusively dedicated to Radhika's lotus feet. Being charmed like this, Krishna comes before the manjari and says, Saki, how lonely this place is. I am greatly afflicted by lusty desires. Come and enjoy with me in this kunj and make your life a success. Hearing Shyam's words, the maidservant replies, Oh, Nagararaj, king of lovers, surely your bodily association is desired by all the women of the world. But we made servants get much more ananda from seeing your pastimes with Sri Radhika, from serving you after and during these pastimes, than from personally associating with you. Therefore, I pray that you will always keep me immersed in the nectar ocean of your service. And you will always show me to witness the sweetness of your union with Swamini. You were mentioning this also in the last uh, meetings, Gurudev, that how to pray to Krishna. And even Raghunathas also prays to Krishna. He prays to all of them for the fulfillment of his desire to become a, you know, eligible to become qualified in the service of Srimati Radhika. And here we hear how, 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 how serious the tests are. <laughs> it might happen to us. <laughs> Happening without test path, we cannot go to the service of Radhika. 
test. We have to cross this test. And who take this test? Anang Mandir. She is the checker. First, Rupa Mandrari is bringing us, and then Ananda Mandrari is arranging the tests. More deep and more, more difficult tests, right, Gurdi? Yes, yeah. Because she knows two bhav. Sakhi bhav. She is Sakhi also. Radhika herself and Mandri also. Ananda Mandri. <laughs> She knows both moods very well. But she prefers Manjri Bhav more. But Radhika when said then she has to go in that service. Like Radhika said, go to Purukshetra, then Anang Manjari has to go to Purukshetra. Nagara replies, O oh, Sakki, you will surely have those desires fulfilled in time. But even those who enjoy a greater pleasure are interested in different other kinds of enjoyments also. <laughs> He's so tricky, Gurdi. <laughs> <laughs> this is a lonely place. Nobody will find out. I am also very much suffering out of separation from Shirada. But you, as a maidservant, are non different from her. Therefore, make me happy with your bodily company. <laughs> the Supreme Personality of God is telling. Uh, who can who can uh, <laughs> not be you know influenced by the sweetness of his arguments? Only the mandaris. Not ready to live. They, they are unshaken. The kinkari replies, Nagararaj. I offered this body of mine to Shirada's lotus feet. Ah. I can give you my life if that makes you happy. But I cannot give you, I cannot give you my body. Yeah. What is the difference between life and the body? Life means I can give you myself, soul, myself. my heart. But this body is a manjari body. And this is not my body. It was given by my soul. Wow. So how I can bring what I got in gift? I'm the shadow of Radhika. So how I can give this? I will lose my shadow, it's the consciousness. I will lose myself to be as the shadow of some. Although, by her mercy, it becomes a spiritual, but it still is different covering of me, but this covering is gifted, mercy of Swami gift. My Swami gift this much, that she cover me. Yeah. 
full of permission. I cannot want to impure this. I don't want to change this feeling. This is Paramanista, Param Pet, one pointedness. That is golden heart. Yeah, and Nista means Sarupanist. Sarup when is a fixed and then firm faith coming really. Without Sarup, never firm faith will come. Faith is different and firm faith is different. I see it and I'm living in this. So I have firm faith with my self. Now comes the second test, Gurudev, and this one is really also tough. The maidservant then takes Shama Sundara with her to Sri Radha's Kunj. Shama Sundara is so pleased with the sincere and unshaken devotion of Radha Rani's maidservant that he loves them even more than his own devotees. Therefore, Sripad says, Prita Swambhachato P in this text. So I think these own devotees are the Sakas, the boyfriends, all the servants of Krishna, all the others in the different rasas. But the maid servants are so dear to, to Mohan. They are very, very dear to him because they are Un unshaken and always in Swamini's service under all circumstances. When the, the maidservant makes Radha and Mohan meet, Mohan tells Radhika, Radhe, I had lost the way when I was coming to meet you because I was overwhelmed by feelings of separations from you. But this maidservant helped me to find your kunj. What a wonderful service she rendered to us. I would like to give her some reward. Anything you think is fitting, tell me. What should I give her? Srimati is also most pleased with her maidservant. And she says, yes, Mohan, all the beautiful girls of Braj desire you. Today, yes, I yes. want you to personally reward this maidservant by kissing yes. and embracing her. So this is what all the Sakis desire, that Shimati Radhika wants and gives permission yes. that Mohan will also embrace them. But what happens here? Hearing this, Nagara begins to kiss and embrace the maidservant with great love. Although he is self-satisfied, he reciprocates with the love of his devotees. And for this reason, he enjoys all kinds of pastimes with them. 
The gopi's love for him is the greatest, and therefore he also plays the most intimate pastimes with them in particular. The mandari's loving devotion is also described here as being nishkaitava, without any cheating propensity and pure as molten gold. When Mohan begins to embrace the maidservant, she protests by exclaiming, no, no, and runs away. How happy Radha Mohan are to see her pure mood. Srimati tells Mohan, put some of your chewed bitter leaves into her mouth. And when he wants to do this by force, the maidservant closes her mouth and runs away. <laughs> she will not accept anything else but Radha's prasad. That is her nishta, her vow, her firm, her firmness. Next, Swamini tells Sham to take off his garland and to hang it around the maidservant's neck. But also, when he tries to do that, the maidservant puts her hands on her head in order to stop him from hanging the garland around her neck. She will only accept Swamini's prashadi garlands and not those of Krishna alone. In this way, the Yuga Lakishur completes the examination of the pure attitude of the kinkari. The fortunate maidservant has passed the test. So this is so sweet. And uh, any uh, anyone would like to share on this? And otherwise I continue because the next verse is also goes more deeper now. Now we were in the Nikunja Gurudev, na? because the Sakis were also there and uh, Radha Mohan have so much love for the maidservant. They want to glorify the maidservant by showing how beautiful is their nishta, the firm love to Shimati Radhika's service and to Mohan's service in Shimati Radhika's service. But in this verse, there are many deep meanings, and uh, I think we can uh, also explain a little bit. And in the first steps, there is a, a was that for Gleich? comparison. Comparison with the with all ladies in this world, and now so they. Uh, there is a difference between the kinkaris and manjaris to all the ladies in this world because they like to enjoy with Mohan. They would never say no. This is the mood of self-enjoyment. So they like to enjoy. But why are the kinkaris don't accept this? They also like to make Krishna happy, no? So they also like to see when he is enjoying. But they know that they are not able to make him completely happy. And they are in the service of Radharani. This is also described that the service they are the servants, and the service is the highest for the Mandaris. These are what they are protecting here. And so they are, they are so clear in, in, uh, in what they are doing. They are not, they never say maybe or like this. They say no, 100% clear no, because 
their services to bring Mohan and Radhika together. That they get 100% both uh, uh, satisfied. And if they say yes, then uh, they will lose the service to Radharani. It will never come back. Sakis don't have this. They are mixed. And Swamini is not sharing all her secrets with the uh, Sakis. She only shared the, the, the highest secrets with the Manjaris. Because she knows that they will never fail. Their service is, is like gold. We cannot say another word. I don't, maybe another one has had a better word, word for, for this. How their heart is of the Manjaris. And this is also our mood. We never say maybe. We have to come on this point. We always say no, no. Not maybe. So there are many deep meanings in this verse and in the explanation. It's so beautiful, no? So beautiful. Jananda Maharaj will bring us more deep. They have Staiba like you, Gorasanda. <laughs> Unshakeable. They never leave the Staiba. <laughs> like you, Gorasanda. Are you also? <laughs> Gorasanda is also Staiba. Yeah. All they are so lucky that all who is coming, they are all Staiba. Picture you have given us your infusion of Stai Bhav, Gurudev. We are lucky. Well, I'm trying to make my <laughs> self, but by your association, I'm thinking one day it will happen to me. <laughs> <laughs> so, Gurudev, I want to share one thing, Gurudev. Is it okay? Yes, yes. Yeah. The deep subject. So this is uh, this bus is very important for us. And uh, last, I think last uh, Wednesday, I share a little bit about uh, Rupa Goswami Utkarika Barari. Rupa Goswami is saying, "How can I? How can I creep up Patra of Radha?" So he pray to Krishna. So please, Krishna, let me the object of mercy of Sri Radha. So Rupa Goswami is praying like this. This is Uttarika Barari, 19th bus. <coughs> then, next bus, what is the answer? What is the answer is Rupa Goswami say, this loyalty of Sri Radha. Means one pointness of Sri Radha. So if we are so say I we may ask Krishna, please give me the mercy to be object of Sri Radha, Kripa Patra. Then Krishna may ask, Are you sure? <laughs> Do you want to enjoy with me or not? Do you have any desire than serving Sri Radhika? And he may ask like this, and he may test like this. This is basic, this is this is testing. But the answer is loyalty. So this is happening to our Guru Dev also. So we have loyalty to Shri Gurudev, our Gurudev. Without loyalty of <laughs> Shri Gurudev, we may not attain lo loyalty of Shri Radha. <laughs> and also this verse is very in interesting. Before Gurudev say, 
en brindaban tu version of la darasa study. One version is Saki Baba, one version is Manjari Baba. So this verse, this, this verse, Gurudev mentioned, if we read directly without purport commentary, we are easy to misunderstood. Mm. Oh, oh, we can get, we can get garland from Krishna. We can, we can get a kiss of Krishna. We can get Krishna's embrace. This is our goal of life. So we may un- misunderstand like this. Mm. So this, this <laughs> Anandas Baba clearly mentioned this is actually test. So actually Sri Radha only takes Mohan's remnant. Mm. Because Radha Rani has so much loyalty to Krishna, Mohan. Manjari only take remnants of <laughs> Sri Radha. Not directly from Mohan. Because Manjari wants to taste both prasada. Because Radha Rani take Mohan's prasada and Radha Rani's prasada means Radha Mohan's prasada. <laughs> So this is a very interesting point. So we also check our loyalty to our Gurudev and also Sri Radha. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Yes, Jainanda, you make this is very nice point. This actually it's the opposite what he is explaining, no? <laughs> that in the verse is described. <laughs> so therefore, good day say, good day say. So we should lead with the papot. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Better. That's why we need the purport of the purport of the purports. Like sugar is always biting the fruits and it becomes more and more sweet. Now, this example is giving in Srimad Bhagavatam. When we have the Rasika, Vaishnavas explaining, and especially ones who are really like Sajatya, so very close to us and they are very intimate and friendly with us and they really love us, then Wow, then the miracle can happen and our Nishta, my Nishta may also, I pray it will also develop like this Gurudev when the tests are coming. So I want to add again once. <laughs> so Anandas Baba put the purport like uh, Maha, Maha Prasad. <laughs> and our Gurudev give Papot, the Maha 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 Prasad. Mm. So Prasad is more tasty. This is this is Lashka Vaishnava's, you know, feeding and put more taste. So I go, Goravani, you look so stunned. <laughs> oh. Share some of your ecstasies. I don't know if I can put it in words, but I will try. I was just reflecting if someone thinks that he's qualified because of his uh, chanting rounds and doing very nice bhajan and, you know, studying the books and all this, then easily the mood in him could be that he through his qualification get some special uh, position even on the transcendental platform 
But when I see that I have not, nothing, not even the slightest qualification, and just because of the mercy, I come to this position, then maybe I'm more sticking to my loyalty. It's only by the mercy of Gurudev and Radharani that we are in this position or we will come to that position. So how could we not be loyal? It's just a feeling, sorry. Radhe Radhe, Goravani, so nice. <clears throat> when we have independent mood, then why should be why should we be loyal to someone? We don't need the shelter. If we feel completely dependent on mercy, then of course I'm loyal to the person who takes care of me. I have no other shelter. And if I believe in the strength of my knowledge or in the power of my sarana, then I'm a little independent. I can be a little proud of what I'm doing. So I don't need so much shelter. I don't need to be so loyal to someone. But if I see myself very unqualified, then I need someone who take care of me and I will be always indebted to the person who takes care of me. Very nice. Thank you. Very sweet. In this verse, we can also see this uh, a moment when you are mine, you are mine. And this Manjari is taking Krishna by her hand and uh, guide him, <laughs> the Supreme Personality of Godhead, uh, to Swamini. Like an older sister, uh, a young boy, bring home or like this. So this is, this is uh, one uh, feeling of you are mine. What is also in Swamini, no? And Krishna is following her. <laughs> hand in hand like this. No? So and she has no, no any bad thought, nothing is there. She's completely in the, she's completely pure and fully in her service to Swamini. And how proud is she to bring Mohan to her? That's the biggest gift she can bring to her. And uh, it's a kind of you are mine. because you are my Swaminis. And he is so happy no? when he, after this, to follow her to, to our Swamini. No?
And when the scene starts, there is the kinkari is sitting alone in a kunja. And she's preparing the kunja. But here we can see she's not preparing for her to enjoy. She's preparing for Mohan and Radharani. May I continue to read or anybody else would like to share? Murdev, should I continue to read? When will she Radha? her? who was wonder personified, whose elegance is wonderful, whose loving, artful cleverness is wonderful, whose effulgence is very wonderful, whose playful gait and body are wonderful. the movements of whose eyes are wonderful and whose smile is most wonderful. Give me the wonderful rasa of her service. The maidservant has passed the test of love, Bhava Pariksha. But she thinks to herself, Oh, Sham, you can bless this poor maidservant by wanting her life. A fitting reward for me is the savor, the taste of your sweet meeting with Priyaji and some fitting service that I may do then. Let me float in an ocean of bliss by witnessing your mutual embrace and thus bless me. Now we hear what kind of blessing she wants. Now the yoga love have blessed the maidservant by giving her the desired reward and they commence their vilas. In the abode of Ananga, the great ocean of Krishna's Lavanya causes the ocean of Swamini's Lavanya to swell. You see, Ananga, Krishna and Swami, the self. This is Kama. the rewatch. Yes, good. Sorry. Kama, Kama Gayatri. Yes. Read this line. In the abode of Ananga, the great ocean of Krishna's Lavanya causes the ocean of Swamini's Lavanya to swell. They come together and they are illuminating 
each other and the whole kunj. And their elegance and their beauty is uh, increasing each other. The maid Ma servant. Yes, Ma good. Maid servant is also there. Yes, now we are in Nivriti Nikunj. <laughs> maid servant is there. We, who will see that? Maid servant. Only maid servant. This is the remnants. This is their prashad, says Gorasana. The maidservant cannot find any words to describe these wonderful oceans. No words. That has to realize. So she simply says, Lavanyam param at butam. Shirada's elegance is most wonderful. This Lavanya is astonishing even Govinda, who is called Lavanya Sara, the essence of all elegance in Srimad Bhagavat. The reason is that Sri Radha is Bharatanu. This Bharatanu is made of the blazing Chintamani jewel of Mahabhav. Mahabhava Chintamani Radhara Swarup from Chaitanya Chaitanya Charitamrita. And the maid servant feels. Her life is successful when she sees how Govinda's fish-like eyes swim in the ocean of her Swamini's Lavanya. Yeah. Again, again, this line. The maid servant feels her life is successful. That when she sees how Govinda's fish-like eyes swim in the ocean of her Swamini's Lavanya. Wow. Who is watching? Mere servant is watching. Mm. Mm. Wow. Vilas has begun. And the maid servant leaves the kunj to peep in oh, through the holes. Whole line, repeat this whole line. Oh, yes. The maid servant feels her life is successful when she sees how Govinda's fish like eyes swim in the ocean of her Swamini's Lavanya. Mm. Vilas has begun. And the maid servant. Um, Srimad Bhagavat is also there, not jump right? Oh, Srimad Bhagavatam was, yeah, this was Chaitanya Tai Dhamrita. Oh, again, no. the maid servant cannot find any words to describe these wonderful oceans. Um. So, she simply says, Lavanyam param atputam. Shirada's mm. elegance is most wonderful. And this Lavanya is astonishing even Govinda, who is called Lavanya Sara, the essence of elegance in Srimad Bhagavat. Uh. 
ભાગવતમ ઓન ધી કૃષ્ણ વિશે બ્લેઝિંગ Chintamani jewel of Mahabhav. Mahabhava Chintamani Radhara Swarup says ah. Chaitanya Chaitamrita. See that. So, Bhagavad is telling something and Chaitanya Chaitamrita is telling something. Hmm. Read again this. I want to know more details about this. Yes, good day. In the abode of Ananga, the great ocean of Krishna's Lavanya causes the ocean of Swamini's Lavanya to swell. The maid servant cannot find any words to describe these wonderful oceans. So she simply says lavanyam param at putam. Shirada's elegance is most wonderful. This lavanya is astonishing even to govinda who is called lavanya sara the essence of elegance in shrimad bhagavat mm. the krishna is described in the bhagavatam yeah not radhika so all the tattva goes up to krishna but the mercy of chaitanya is more crystal clear in chatan chatam how they can write radhika's glory is there so krishna das so, kaviraj goswami is completely into rasa and he is explaining very nicely also that radharani is also sarva lakshmi she is she's the representation of the good qualities of krishna actually so she is the source she is the guru of all good qualities for krishna so if we talk about lavanya or param then of course this is radharani she is the source of all lavanya As we can see Radha Kund is flowing into Shyam Kund. Yeah. From where Shyam is getting from Radha Kund. Yeah. Shyam is getting his swelling from Radha. He's increasing. Yeah. And why? The reason is that Sri Radha is Varatanu. What is meaning of Varatanu Guri? I am so not. First time I will listen. Varatanu. Bigger. Vara means bigger. Uh-huh. The increaser of biggest. <laughs> Ayananda will find out. He is the expert in Sanskrit. Bharatanu. Varu means the best, but Varu or Natavara, the best of dancer. 
Na Tavara. Vara means the best. Antano. Na Tavara. Na Tavara, né? Tano. Vara, please support. Vara, Tano. Na Tavara, no. Vara, Tano. Yes. This Baratanu is made of the blazing Chintamani jewel of Mahabhav. Uh -huh. Mahabhava Chintamani Radhara Sarup. Yeah. And the maidservant feels her life is successful. Yeah. When she sees how Govinda's fish-like eyes swim in the ocean of her Swamini's Lavanya. Yeah, oh, this is Kamagati, my dear. One is in 16, and this is one. The Manjiri has become very satisfied when he sees the eyes of Krishna swimming. So, in the ocean of love of love, they are looking, Manjari is looking. They are decorating Swamini like a present to him. The whole day they decorate uh, the Kunja. They everything do the arrangement for this moment when they see, when his eyes are swimming, swimming in, in her form and her beauty and her beauty makes the decoration more beautiful. And this is the success for the Manjaris. Then they are in uh, Ananda, full yeah. bliss. So beautiful, merciful Baba. Never possible to understand up to today. Go on. More right. Vilas has begun, and the maidservant leaves the kunj to peep yes. in through the holes of the foliage to relish the sweetness yes. of these intimate pastimes. Yeah. How wonderful is Radhika's cleverness in artful lovemaking. Even Shyama Sundara, who is the teacher of all Rasika arts, is stunned by it. Wow. In Vidakta Madhava. Vrinda Devi praised Radhika's dexterity in lovemaking as follows. How amazing! From whom did this Radha, who was still playing in the dust with her girlfriends a short time ago, with red ribbons in her hair and her earlobes newly pierced, learn all these arts of lovemaking? So that now she can even defeat oh, no. the unconquerable Ajita. Installation of the Aspinia. Shama Sundara does mm. not know what to do when he is defeated in the game by clever Radhika. Yeah. Huh? And the maidservant yeah, like floats that. in shoreless ocean of bliss, being very proud of Swamini's, their Swamini's honor. Yeah. Knowing that she was able to fulfill desires that Shyam himself could not even imagine. Srimati is so happy that it looks as if her golden luster gushes out of her body. Mm. 
Therefore, the maidservant says, Kanti Kapi Mahat Uta. Sri Radha's luster, aura, is highly astonishing. Srila Rupa Goswami teaches in Ujvala Nilamani, Shobaiva Kantir Akyata Manmata Pyaya No Jvala. When the limbs uh, become more splendid because of absorption in erotic sports, such luster is called Kanti. When the limbs become more splendid, when the angas of the body become more shiny because of absorption in erotic sports, sports such luster is called Kanti. Seeing Sri Radhika's wonderful Kanti, Krishna once told his friend Subal, Oh friend, this Radha is the very form of natural sweetness. And then she is also embraced by the stripe of youthful beauty. Moreover, I see that her beauty is even increased by performing our pastimes. In this way, she maddens me and captures my heart. Suddenly, Shimati's mood changes and she enters into the Prema Vaichitya mood, in which she feels separation from her lover, even while sitting on his lap. Saying, Oh Mohan, where are you? She begins to cry. Her intelligence has become so subtle that she can only feel the vilas and no longer the presence of vilasi, the lover the love and joy of Krishna. Thus, she laments and cries, Where is that Vilasi, whose Vilas is so beautiful? Nagararaj is astonished when he sees these sweet moods of Srimati's. Finally, in order to become free from the fire of separation, she becomes Leela Mai, filled with Krishna's pastimes. Priya Nukaranam Lila Ramyaya Vesha Kriya Dibi. Lila means that one imitates the beloved's beautiful dress and pastimes. Yeah. How wonderful is Srimati's Lila Gati, the cause of her imitations. Nagara and the maidservants are absorbed in relishing Shimati's wonderful Leela Gati. Once Sri Gati Manjari saw her engaged in this Leela and told her friends, May Sri Radha, who dresses herself like Madhuri Pu Krishna, anointing herself with musk 
so that she attains his complexion, putting on a yellow silken dhoti, tying a beautiful crown of peacock feathers into her hair, and playing a flute while keeping her shoulders in a crooked way, protect us. This is one of the many waves of bhav arising in Shirada. At every so the, the maid servants don't disturb this or don't, uh, uh, they only see this and they are same astonished like Krishna also. Huh? They no, not interrupt this mood, huh? Right. Mm. Good. If while I was preparing and reading this, I had some feeling and I would like to ask you these moods, these bhavas of Swamini, they seem to complement complement each other. And I feel that all these bhavas, they are serving Mohan to get lost in her, her feelings. Because first, when she is feeling, oh, where's Mohan? I'm just in the play, but I don't feel the Vilasi anymore. Then she is lost in memory of where is my Mohan? And when she gets deep in these feelings, where is my Mohan? She becomes Mohan. Yeah. She, she becomes does. she becomes him. That's why she puts on these clothes and she has the the uh, the mask on her body. And when she becomes him, Gurudev, what happens then? Next thing, it must be that Mohan becomes her. Yeah. So Prema. Um, by Prema, Vaishitri, and other things cannot come, only Krishna is there. His cling means Radha and Krishna with my will. Yes, when they are all together, this atmosphere becomes so intense because it's also that the mandaris intensify by their being there. They are also like. They have a, 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 a part in the game. Their intensity and their selfless love make also Shrimati Radhika possible to come to her highest moods. Yeah. See that. So I was feeling good if that this Prima Vaichitya is actually, it could be in my feelings that the natural continuation is also this uh, what we had yesterday the the uh, prema vilas vivata when they are exchanging roles it must be in a way because first she is feeling separation and then because she is feeling separation she is full of mohan and then she becomes mohan and then mohan because of her intensity becomes sri radha and like this, these feelings are floating like an endless eight, you know, the endless sign into one and in each other. And they are all very much uh, in, intoxicated. And uh, that's why Krishna is praising Radhika that she is so much in her moods, in her bath, that he cannot forget her for one second. It's not possible. Yeah. So this is every line and every mood based on Gopal Mantra of Kamagat. Wow. So, you so that is a big wave. So they never disturb this. It is mm -hmm. a, 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 what is more than big, what is in English? Humongous. Overwhelming. Overwhelming wave in the bath, in one bath of Swamini, and everybody around who can see this is only astonished. Even Krishna cannot understand this. Yeah. 
that is Ananga. He is the ocean and Swamini is the wave. The tsunami, that was the word. Tsunami, yes. <laughs> <laughs> And this tsunami is flooding the whole existence in the form of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's mercy. Yeah. Now there are there. Me no, asha wa about tsunami. Tsunami. <laughs> yeah, there, there, there. So now, Gorasundaji uh, said. Manjari never disturb. Manjari have same mood as Radha. Manjari is just but. So trashy flower um, from down to up. Then this Manjari makes waves. Means Manjari makes her Mahababa and more and more. Means we are one make more big waves. Not only Radha. Radha mood come to Manjaris and Manjaris waves. And this waves makes Radha Moha more high mood. And Manjari is like a competition. This is Mahababa, never ending. Jai Sri Radha. Thank you, Kishore. So, Gurdiv, you wanted to hint us that uh, you always give this hint that the Gama Gayatri important to go deep into this and then remember these Leelas so we can, you we can advance. This Leela and pastime. Mm hmm. Manjari. When you not go deep in karma, if you see Gopal Mantra, all based on my meditation, Krishna, Govinda, and Gopijan. <laughs> And somebody said Ballava, somebody said no Ballava. These are all only meditation. Somebody is in different mellow, somebody is in different mellow. There you will find. Sajati Association. Then you will find who want to learn more deep in that subject. Yes, that is so valuable. We should not waste our time. That. Um, yeah. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Yes. Good day. This 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 bus is a pastime. I think this is Madanakya Mahababa. Yes. It is a Mahababa is is a, uh, Ruddha and Adiruddha and. Uh, Ruddha is Mohan and Madana. Mm. And uh, Mohan is meeting. Mm. And Madana is, I'm uh, sorry, uh, Mad Madana is separating. And Madana is meeting. But meeting together, but feeling completely mud, too much, too much love and become mud. Sometimes they're thinking, oh, Mohan is not there. Sometimes become too much meditating Mohan. She become like Mohan, the crazy uh, lady. 
Yeah. So, so this, this bus, yesterday also, Prema Birasa by teacher, it's also kind of described Mahababa. So, with the mercy of Rashka Vaishnava, we don't understand what is Mahababa. For me, That's, the first time I'm listening this, in which slope is this? This is 120 Guru in Radha Rasa You see, many times I read, but I have first time, you see, I, I listen to this. Still, I know learn food. You always I'm, fresh. <laughs> I'm learning, it's surprising for me. I know learn. In the ocean, the waves will never end. Yeah. I only know only 16 will have Kusumanjali. I was very proud of that, that I know something now. <laughs> My God, here you see this. <laughs> you are and letting us go deeper and deeper, Guru. It's your best. Also, so many help after so many time after I understand that city. You remember, Suniti? Yes, we are learning it with you, Gurudev. You're always repeating, repeating. So nice. Tadabhavi Chamai and Sambhogi Jamai. I think that uh, Manjiri is a tadik bhav ikshame. Bhav last rati, no understanding. After some time, by practice, by mercy, I realized. And now I, is a, again something new subject. Come. Wow. Always young. This is because all these mandaris are here with us, Gurudev, and they are making the mood higher and deeper. Goranga Sundara is completely in samadhi. This He's is the this speechless. <laughs> learning, we are learning. We are not even understand very well. We are so fortunate. You make us a deep, deep diving, Gurudev, and Gora Chandra, and all those who are also listening and not saying anything, they are hiding, but their moods are so deep that we can go so deep. It's all the blessings of all the Dasis here. Radhe. Last time we spoke, that Guru Dev explained that she is the reservoir, the Sar, Rasa Sar. From her, everything starts like an engine and it keeps going. She sends the waves of her love in all directions constantly. She is giving mercy to Krishna. She is giving mercy to the Manjaris. It is her mercy that Krishna accept and help the Manjari become her Dasi. Her mercy coming through Krishna to the Manjari. Her mercy causes the manjari to give mercy to Krishna when she brings him to Radharani. Yeah. Okay. It's like a cycle and she is the power 
station. Oh, house. <laughs> Energy house. Yeah. From her, everything starts and it keeps going. And without manjari, it cannot be complete. There is no cycle without manjari. When there are only two, then they cannot make a cycle. Yeah. So it goes this way, it goes that way, it gets through the manjari, it goes through Krishna to Radharani, through Krishna to the manjari, through the manjari to Krishna, through Krishna mercy coming to Radharani also. <laughs> when she needs him and she is so much in separation, she cannot walk. He has to come now. <laughs> so, yeah, it's, it's a cycle. It's so beautiful. And not complete without Manjari. Cannot happen. Sri Ram. Gora Chandra. This is, this is the one meaning of Kama Gayatri. Mm. I give one my heart asset to you, gentlemen. Yeah. What you say, Guru Dev? <laughs> Not for you. <laughs> Is that that he gave you, you because you are his heart to Jayananda? <laughs> so, so I want to explain this this Bharatan, Guru Dev. If, yeah. if you let yes. me yeah. this bara means I I don't know bara means many meaning one meaning is best one meaning bridegroom but actually this is best or sometimes boom tanu means manifestation so this bara tanu means Lada is manifestation of, of Mahababa or Mahababa Chintamani. Wow. So Lada is most essential part of, you know, Chintamani jewel or Mahababa. That is Bharatana. Yeah. Very important part in Pokamagat. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> More is left something. No, Goanga Sunda, you have not shared. That is left. I'm trying to protect devotees from arrogance. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, Jainandaji said very nicely explained this Varatanu. And Suniti, please can you read, find this Varatanu in the text? Yes. And uh, can you read, this Lavanya is astonishing. Yeah, that's us together. Yeah, please. Sri Radha's elegance is most wonderful. Varatan. This Lavanya is astonishing, even Govinda. Varatan. Who is Lavanya Sara in Srimad Bhagavat? The reason Va is that, yes, Shirada is Varatan. Yeah. Yes, that's the point. So many times in different words, it's confirmed why she is Varatan. Because Govinda is Lavanya Sara. And this is the effect of Vara Tanu. Mm. Wow. <laughs> wow. Because yeah. he cannot be Lavanya without Sara. Yeah. And who, who wow. is the personification of Sara? <laughs> Vara Tanu Radha. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> 
Sorry. That's why Rada and Rada Kunda is the same. Gerade. This Varatanu is made of the blazing Rintamani jewel of Mahabhav. Mahabhava Chintamani Radhara Swaru. So her heart, her mind is Chintamani. There is no more valuable jewel in all creation, spiritual and material, then Chin Tamani, someone who has, whose mind and heart, Chinta, is like a jewel, Mani. Mm -hmm. And because of that, she is Varatanu. No one has such beautiful Chinta Mani. And Krishna. This is the reason why he is fainting because of these qualities of Radhika's Chintamani, because she is Varatanu. But today Krishna could not faint. It's only that Swamini had to become Prema Vaichitya and he became so astonished he could not even think about it, what is happening. And she became him and he became her. Yes, but and there is also open. one secret. There yes, is also yeah. one secret. <laughs> when this prema vachitya happens, it's kind of loving illusion. When Radhika comes deeply in her heart, in this condition, Krishna doesn't want that anyone approach to her to stop this illusion, because he wants to enjoy her beautiful qualities in this position of Prema Vaichitya. Yeah, beautiful. Because this Prema Vaichitya is the symptom of Radhika's sweet, loving illusion, when her mind is completely disturbed, out of love, agony is coming out of love, and she feels that she is most with him when she is separate from him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm sorry, I couldn't protect you from myself. <laughs> <laughs> These are the waves, they make us alive. This is the most beautiful sharing possibilities. And Gurudev, you spoke about the Kama Gayatri. When the Kama Gayatri is creating these waves in the ocean, this is when these two bodies come together. And together with the Manjaris, they are moving this ocean and then the ocean is creating the waves and the waves this is what we are looking now when she is so astonishing to everybody krishna is, is astonished this is the meaning of this uh pushpanjali pushpabanaya, pushpabanaya not pushpanjali pushpabanaya and then the and the mantra then he is uh, uh, overwhelmed by her feelings and this this comes to the highest and because of this no manjari will disturb this and krishna also know this is what they are waiting for for this moment when she is in this mood it's it's indescribable wow. waves of feelings So I'm so proud of tsunami. <laughs> you all of your association. See that. 
So I'm back. We are lucky when we can serve you, Gurudev. We are lucky that we can learn more and more and realize more and more. That is our... Gurudev, you know, uh, I just, I just, it just uh, came to me that uh, Gorgovinda Maharaj said uh, he has opened a school for crying. And I feel, Gurudev, you have uh, opened a school for deep diving into Rasa. <laughs> this is you open, you give this name. <laughs> I'm just a full number one, Gurudev. I need to listen a lot and then even it doesn't stick with me. I need to listen. <laughs> I, I think it's a surf school <laughs> to ride on high waves. Dive, dive deep and surfing on the way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I want to share something funny, or I have a question. <laughs> we read about Kanti. When the limbs become more splendid because of absorption in erotic sports, such luster is called Kanti. Seeing Sri Radhika's wonderful Kanti, Krishna once told his friend Subal and so on. So we are wearing also Kanti Mala. <laughs> Maybe we want this kanti on our sadhaka deha also, this kanti. <laughs> we want to have that. Yeah. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> kanti mala. <laughs> yeah. Our prasad decoration. <laughs> prasad of Swamini. 